Our goal today is to completely demolish our opponents. We will be using a cheap crossbow build with tons of damage and stacking defensives to bait our enemies into overcommitting. Our Martlock cape, guardian helmet, Peric robe and gigantify potions will allow us to survive even against higher tiered players, while our light crossbow will allow us to deal tons of damage back. This build allows us to clear camps fast in the mists and take lots of fights, making it incredibly fun to play. Let's see it in action. Our first fight perfectly illustrates just how capable our build is at baiting enemies. This dual swords has an awakened weapon and almost 300 IP more than us. Our build costs 500k including consumables, while his build is worth over 5 million silver. As soon as the fight begins we immediately use our overcharge, bringing down the IP gap to a bit under 200. We block the initial burst of his engage using our guardian helmet, then immediately use our cleric robe as soon as it runs out, negating his mercenary jacket and hunter hood activations, since he cannot purge us. Having successfully blocked his first rotation of abilities, we use our Q and W as often as we can to damage him and keep him in range of our abilities, but render him unable to fight back in melee range. The second rotation of his abilities we counter using our Gigantify potion. He manages to space away from our Q range, and the biggest downside of our build is its mobility. However, in the mist there are tons of mobs we can use to hit with our W ability, giving us an almost constant 30% movement speed boost when chasing as long as we have mobs nearby. We are dangerously low on HP, and a single rotation of his abilities could easily kill us. However, as soon as he engages, we are ready to use our Guardian Helmet and Cleric Robe again, and the Mardok Cape will give us an additional burst of damage reduction. So, at this point we are still very, very far away from death, as long as we use our abilities correctly. After getting a nice payday of silver, next up we are fighting against a ranged build, the Chill Howl. Ranged builds with high mobility are not as easily baited, and for this fight we have swapped to using the Night Boots shield, giving us an additional defensive option. We will try to get very low on health during the fight and execute them before they can get away. Chill Howls are quite the popular build and here is another fight against the Chill Howl, this time we are using the Sprint on our boots. We are still at a big IP disadvantage during these fights. Next up we are fighting with the ratty double bladed staff build. Played correctly our build can win even at an extreme IP disadvantage against these meta mobility builds, as long as the opponent makes a mistake and overcommits. Our brawling potential is very high. You might have noticed the UI is missing throughout a lot of these fights. That is done using the recording mode keybinding, and it is very helpful to be able to more easily see enemy nameplates at the edge of the screen.
You can use abbeys to bait other players into dismounting for them. You just have to dismount early since the 5 second abilities cooldown is longer than the 3 seconds it takes to channel into the dungeon. As long as you can hit them before they channel, they will not be able to finish it. Curse Staffs are a very good matchup for us since we have the Guardian Helmet. We have to wait until they stack us up and use their E, and just before the E procs, we can use our Guardian Helmet to cleanse off every stack of their Q, so their E will deal very little damage to us. You will encounter the Hunter Hood very often in the mists, and we often use our Cleric Robe to counter it, since we do not take any reflect damage if you have our Cleric Robe active. Sometimes the only way to escape a double bladed staff is to fight them.
If running is not an option, then you'd be surprised at just how much damage this build can do while it is below 20% HP. We cannot run against this Warbow that is ratting the fight, so all we can do is stand and hopefully kill him.
If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Here's the build if you want to see the entire details of it.